It doesn't matter if you spend all your time in the recording studio or if you're normally on stage playing gigs. It doesn't matter if you have a huge rig with tons of gear in it that you need to be able to control or if you just want to have one box that does everything. It doesn't matter if you're already used to using modeling or if you're more of an amp and a pedal kind of a guy. With a huge color LCD screen that gives you the same amount of visual feedback you'd expect from a computer-based editor, with touch-sensitive foot switches and customizable scribble strips, with a huge complement of I.O. that's configurable, and with pedal edit mode that allows you to edit parameters with your feet, Helix was designed to be the center of your guitar universe. Alright, so we switched things around to make it easier to see, and here's Helix. I took it to a gig the other day and a friend of mine said that it uh, looks like a BMW, so that's a good sign. From left to right on the top panel, you have the preset selection knob along with save and menu items. So you can just push it and get access to all your presets, all of your set lists. There are over a thousand places to put presets in Helix. Next to that, you have the huge, lovely screen, which is full color and shows a lot of information. Basically, you will live here on the home screen most of your, uh, most of your life with Helix. All of the knobs here on the bottom can be used to adjust parameters. You can see there are four stereo paths available in each preset, which we'll talk about in another video, but it's fantastic. To the right of that, you have the joystick for navigation, so you can use it to navigate around to the different effects blocks. And uh, if you decide that you want to make something, you can just push it and you get the menu for all of the different types of things you can create inside Helix. To the right of that, you have the volume knob and the separate volume for phones. Below that, you have the foot switches, so you've got the bank up and down, of course, and then you have multifunction foot switches in the middle. Over here, the mode guy decides what they do in some ways, so you can sort of push it and get presets, or you can push it one more time and get uh, instant access control, uh, which I sort of do because I spent a long time being a Bradshaw guy. So uh, because these guys are all touch sensitive, I can just touch them and jump from block to block. So I can use it as a way to navigate the UI as opposed to having to use the joystick, which is way faster to get around on. Tap tempo button, which you can just touch to get the tempo of the preset, or you can actually hold it to get the tuner. The tuner is huge, fantastic, really easy to see live, which is great. This button also has another thing it can do, which is pedal edit mode, which I'll talk about in another video. And right next to that, you have the foot pedal, which is a, a giant block of aluminum. It is uh, absolutely solid. On the back panel from right to left, you have the power stuff, then USB. Helix can be used as a recording interface for both computer software and mobile devices and has an editor application as well. Then you have the digital I.O. So there's a combined L6 Link AES EBU output and SBDIF in and outs. MIDI I.O. Then you have the Variax input, which will pass both the Variax sounds and the magnetic pickups down one cable. Then you have the dedicated headphone output, and then the stereo quarter inch and XLR outputs. XLR outputs have a ground lift. After that, you have the four effects loops. So those can be ganged together, or they can be split up to be separate sends and returns to do various jobs inside the audio routing. Then you have the mic preamp. It's the same pre that's out of our M20D digital mixer, so it has phantom power and a low cut. After that, you have the aux in and the guitar in. The guitar in is the highest quality guitar input you can buy. It's 123 dB of dynamic range. And after that, you have the control ports. So in addition to the onboard pedal, you can add another two expression pedals. You actually have amp switching capability on a TRS jack, and you have a CV output for control voltage if you have an old pedal or an old device that's pre-MIDI and you still want to be able to adjust a parameter on it. We also make a rack mount version. So it's very similar to the back panel of the floor-based version, but there's more room, so there's more jacks. There's not a built-in pedal on Helix Control, so there are three expression pedal jacks there, not just two. Other additions on the rack mount version would be the Helix Control Jack for connecting Helix Control foot pedal, which gives you the same functions as the floorboard version. You also have word clock input with termination, which is fantastic, and an AES EBU input as well as an output. There's also a buffer dry out that you can use to send the unprocessed guitar sound to another device without having to route it inside the Helix UI. All of us at Line 6 are really excited to bring you Helix. Go online to find a Helix certified dealer and uh, go play one for yourself. Thanks and cheers.